Welcome to Houston Real Estate Radio. I'm your host, Shannon Register, and every week we bring you news and information you can use on your next real estate transaction. This is definitely the time of year to be in a real estate transaction. I cannot think of a better time in since the time I moved to Houston, I can't think of a better time to sell a house in Houston. Welcome to summer selling season. And if you've got a real estate question, give us a call. We'll be happy to answer it right here on the air, 281-882-8088. If you're over on Twitter, you can also reach us using hashtag H-R-E-R on Twitter. That phone number to call in again is 281-882-8088. Send us those real estate questions. We'll be happy to answer them every week between 11 and noon right here on Houston Real Estate radio. Later in the show, I've got Abby Vassett coming on. She's from HGTV's Design Star. And next uh, on the program, I've got David Jarvis. He is the regional director of Metro Study. So, you know, David, one thing I really like about talking with you is uh, you're an economist that always has good news for us and fun to talk to. <laughs> Oh, because, thanks you know, for the kind words. Sometimes talking about the economy, it's just not that exciting. You know, in it's college, not. it wasn't that exciting. Yeah, you, you can put people to sleep doing what I do. But, you know, our market is just so exciting right now. It just amazes me how things flipped so quickly. And it does, it's just not slowing down. It just hey, keeps going and going. We're back to making money in real estate again. Everybody it's fun. likes that. Yeah. It's fun again. And, uh, and that's exciting. And, you know, it, it's interesting because... I've seen some buyers that are quite frustrated because they can't quite get into that house they want because of the competitiveness of the market. And um, I've seen some sellers who've wanted to sell and they sold too fast and couldn't find what they wanted to move into. So it's, it's interesting. It's an interesting dynamic, what's going on. Yeah, if you want to sell your home right now, you better be careful because if you list it, it's going to sell. Mm-hmm. You better know where you're going to go, and you're right. It, uh, it's very tight, the resale and the new homes. We got our foot off the gas during the recession. We didn't develop very many lots. We didn't develop uh, nearly enough homes. And now we're behind. We're trying to catch up, and it's going to be a while before we catch up. And it's not just housing catching up. The the road systems have got to catch up, and the uh, there's just so much infrastructure that's catching up at the same time with the housing market exploding. With all the infrastructure that's under construction, that's actually part of our problem. We can't develop the lots fast enough. We can't find the labor pool uh, to get the lots on the ground and get the homes up. The builders are telling us that it is six to eight months now to build a home. That's as long as I've ever heard. Yeah, that's a long time. So do you think that it's going to get better as we go into fall? Do you think it's going to slow down and that it's going to get easier for these builders to get the houses up? No, there's just, just no way. We just don't have uh, the labor pool. Uh, one, we don't have enough lots to build on, to mm-hmm. catch up. And I sit on an economic par- uh, panel with the Houston Partnership, and I get a chance once a month to talk to uh, the commercial industry, to aviation, the oil patch, and, 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 and uh, even the automobile industry. The commercial guys are literally planning a 10% price hikes, uh, rate hikes for their people for the next three years because of the incredible labor shortage we have. And as long as that is going on, they're looking in on our subcontractors. And as soon as they develop a little bit of skill, they're out of here for more money. So, yeah. no, I, I think it's going to be a very short labor market for another two or three years. So we have um, we have these huge lot shortages. Where are we going to go? Do you think that Houston's just going to keep spreading out? Oh, sure we are. Uh, look at the, the Grand Parkway now coming around from I-10 all the way to 59 on the other side of town. It's going to open up a tremendous number of, of acres for new development, new access. You know, you ask an old developer, where do I buy land? And he'll tell you at the end of the road. <laughs> we have a new road. And it's just going to be fantastic for, for development and a lot of new choices for the buyers. Mm-hmm. But it's not going to be quick. So people who want to sell right now, I mean, they, they know they put their house on the market, it's going to sell. But what about those that, like you said, they need to build a house and the house is going to be ready till next winter. Are they still going to be okay putting the house on the market next winter? I think so. Based on the number of lots that are under construction right now, we will not catch up on the lot side this year. There's, there's just no possible way. I don't believe that we'll catch up even on the lot development next year. So the pressure uh, to, to easing up on the pressure with, with uh, adding a few more homes really isn't going to take place till probably 2016. What about um, those people that want the one and two acre lots? Do you think we're going to see more subdivisions go in that offer those, or you think it's just going to be less and less, fewer and fewer of those? Ah, those are so popular. Caldwell has a really nice new deal not far from here down in Tomball, and they're just knocking it out of the park. Really, really well they're done. They're so well popular, located. but they're so rare. They're a hard find. 
they are a hard find. No, there's not nearly enough of that around, and, and I hope some of the developers catch on and will bring some more of those acreage mm-hmm. communities to the market. Do you think that? Um do you think that, you know, as we just keep racing into fall, you know, usually there's kind of a lull between the end of September through the end of October, kind of a lull in the real estate, and then it picks up again, you know, because everyone wants to close by the end of the year. Do you think we're even going to see that this year? Yeah, I would, I would expect this market to follow the same kind of cycle as the last couple of years. Uh, we, we're, we're selling just as many homes this year. We're actually doing it with fewer sales offices. That's how far behind we are. The poor builders that are closing subdivisions faster than they can open new ones, and they're mm-hmm. still reporting as much traffic, as many sales. Uh, but there's still market cycles. There's still school and a lot of distractions. So, yeah, that, that, that little lull is probably still coming at us. And then in January, February, you know, those are our slow months, January and February, you think they'll continue to be slow months or you think it, you can list a house in January, February and still sell it pretty quickly within 30, 60 days? The supply is so short. Uh, I don't think there's any time this year you can put your home on the market and not expect a pretty quick sale as long as it's in good shape at the right price. Now, mm-hmm. you can overshoot it, have a home in bad condition, that's not going to sell. Yeah. You know, it's interesting because of the demand and the shortage and, you know, people hearing that there are multiple offers, you do sometimes see sellers who go, I'm just going to throw it out there the way it is. And and those are the ones that sit out there. You know, they're few and far between, but the, that's the ones you see sitting there, the ones with the, the problems that need the house with the new roof, you know, the house that needs the new roof and the, the house that they, they left empty and went and stayed and looks bad, it's dirty. You know, those are the ones that sit out there. Yeah, that's what that's how it's going to show up on HGTV, right? <laughs> so, what do you think about um, people with land? You know, thirty acres and more. Do you think this is the time to sell it and try to, um, you know, try to maximize that sale while there is such a shortage of land? Uh, we'll we'll ca- we will catch up. All right, it's just a matter of, of, of all this pent up demand, uh, the lots and the homes we didn't build during the recession. So, over the next few years, when we catch up, there's going to be a cooling off. Uh, land prices and lot prices are at an all-time high right now. Mm-hmm. They can't go up forever. It's not going <laughs> to stick. We're going to give some of that back. Uh, the price appreciation, even on resales, has been 17% in the past 12 months. That's unsustainable. Houston is a 4 5 6% a year kind of appreciating mm-hmm. market. Again, this is just part of the catch-up. And as we catch up, that uh, it's not just going to cool off, but I believe we're going to give some of it back. So 17% increasing right now across Houston? Across the market? That's the average. That's right. Average on wow. resale transactions. Wow is right. That's fantastic. I mean, that's kind of an old California Why would you not sell number. right now? <laughs> why, why would you not? You'd have to really love that house, wouldn't you? You would. Or, 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 uh, and, and with interest rates like they are, don't let those go up on you. Yeah. And they are going up. But so such just not very much. Not very much. So I don't, I don't know that that's going to play a big part in it. Do you? No, I agree. The, the interest rates are going up so slowly that I don't think it's going to dampen demand. What do you think about rental rates? Going to keep going up? You know, we track it every month. And there are more and more homes being listed through MLS at ever higher prices. We monitor it because at any point, if we see rental rates or the occupants begin to slip, we'll know that some of those homes are going to move back out of the rental pool into the for sale Mm -hmm. market. That's why we watch it. Uh, But it hasn't happened. Literally every month, they just keep leasing for more money. At some point, somebody's going to have to get infuriated and stimulated to get out of that rental property and, and get into an ownership situation. And don't you think that with the economy stabilizing, more people are going to be able to qualify to buy um, that weren't able to buy in the last few years? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Getting getting some of those renters into houses. And the administration is actually calling on Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac to lighten up just a little bit on those qualifying guidelines. So we expect that to help. That will definitely help. We need that. <laughs> We've needed that for some time. <laughs> yes, we have. So apartment rentals also are going up. They're all full. Labor shortage, we can't build them fast enough. Uh, no concessions in the market. You know, I'm sorry if your contract is coming due. I've got bad news for you. There's going to be a rental rate hike. It's <laughs> going to go up, and there's just not going to be a whole lot of sympathy at the leasing office. And what about for commercial property? Do you think people who rent commercial space are going to see the same thing, rents going up? We have. In high-rise, in, in retail now, We in retail is underdeveloped in Houston, mm-hmm. and those rental rates are going up. Uh, It's just a good market. It's just a really, really good economy. Mm -hmm. So it's good news for sellers, but uh, also good for buyers because they buy and it's all automatically appreciating. I mean, as soon as you buy it, you've got a property that's appreciating, which is good. Why wouldn't you want to get into this kind of a market? Sure. Yeah. You know, I just think it's a great time to buy and sell. You've got good 
pros on both sides of it, and I think it's a great time to do a real estate transaction. Oh, absolutely. It's a great market. All right, we'll be right back here on Houston Real Estate Radio with David Jarvis, the Regional Director of Metro Study. Metro Study.